I purchased, I don't, this, oh, it's male, is this male and female? Anyways, I purchased my, uh, my PS5 in January, and I think I picked it up in March because I've been mostly pretty busy. And, uh, every, every single week since then, it's just, I just hear more and more things that make me think, man, it's just, Jim Ryan should just shut his damn mouth. Also, I am really, really regretting buying this thing. Because, like, the day I, when I picked it up, it was already too late to return it. So, like, so it's no, no fucking option there. And, uh, it's just like, why, why did I have to get it right away? Why did I why did I have to do that? But like I don't know. I guess I I guess I got demon souls to hold me over until I don't actually know what's gonna come out on this that I'm particularly interested in. Ratchet and Clank maybe. Not. Uh, what am I gonna pick? Uh, royalty gives you the magic at the beginning, which is nice to have, and it's also level one. What kind of is that an actual? Uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm a I'm gonna pick royalty for the uh, ring, and the magic because I think I'm gonna get the enchanted falchion early on. Also, they start at level one. Or actually, that's. I mean, if I want to be a magician, that looks better. Or I could be lame and just pick that. You know, I'll just I'll just pick a soldier because they got a pointy weapon. I'll just do that. This does look nice though. This does. Uh -huh. Yeah, fuck it. Anyways. And, oh wow, they got. Uh, okay, I don't. Hold on. Let me just let me just get through this before I start continue to rant. Guiding light, elixir. Raises item discovery. You know what? Sure, I'll get the ring. I don't particularly care about any of this stuff. Anyways. King Alant the Twelfth. By well, channeling we'll sit the through this then. Souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned but valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of boletaria's plight that the old king alant had roused the old one the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Your of the twin fangs yet the silent chief saint urbane scurva the wanderer the sick saint astria with her night gal vinland and sage freak the visionary the colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond boletaria's borders Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. 
the deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Right, so... The first thing, the first thing that uh, I discovered, Brave soul who fears not death. yeah, whatever. The first thing that I discovered that uh, really, you know, kind of irked me is that uh, the DualSense 5 controller, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but you know, the, the controller for the PS5 has a life cycle, which, uh, which, you know, is the equivalent of four to six months of regular play. More, less if you, uh, you know, play, are playing like a, I don't like the way that UI looks. That looks far too clean. Oh, that's right, I gotta, hold on. It's been literal years since I've played a Souls game. That's, that's my roll. That's my run. Alright. Which, you know, if you play FPS games or, you know, games with heavy camera control... Um, that could end up being less. Which, you know, considering controllers are a hundred a hundred dollars up here in cold Canada land, that's not fucking acceptable. Everyone's everyone is rightfully shitting on Nintendo for their uh, joy Joy-Con drift. But like the pro controllers work fine. I've had mine for um uh three years now. I use it fairly regularly, and it's got no problems. I'm playing a lot of Monster Hunter with it right now. Okay, so... Hold on. There we go. Uh, so yeah. That's... It's just, it's just super not acceptable. Thank you for the grass. I, there's an item burden in this game, isn't there? Yeah, there's an item burden in this game. That's a, that's a, that's a shame. It's a shame. I mean, it's expected. Actually, it shouldn't be. Item burdens are objectively terrible and ruin the experience of whatever game they're in. But, you know, it was there before. I thought I heard something. So, like, you're, you're making a, um... A high quality video game console for them video game boys. And was it uh, a vault over railing? Oh, that's right. This only happens like twice in the entire game. I, well, actually, I don't think it ever happened there before. But, uh, you just, you, you step. Holy. Did I just double parry that? Because that's sick. If I did. Uh, I'm gonna. Ow. Okay, like, okay, I need, I need to, like, calm down just for a sec. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that, you're making a high, like, a high-grade, expensive-ass fucking product. You know, 599 US dollars was a meme for the PS3 for, like, a good goddamn reason. This is an expensive hobby that's getting more expensive as the years go on. So you would expect the longevity of your the accessories that make the hobby, I don't know, exist, wouldn't only last for four to six months. And like and like you know, you know they could do better because like it's never been acceptable for controllers to only last that long. I got fucking N64 controllers that still work fine. Like original N64 controllers from like 20, 25 goddamn years ago. God, I am old. Fucking old. Uh, Perry, yeah, I've already done that twice. Or three times, I don't know. I get... You know, I, if I'm going to, like, you know, praise accuracy, the fact that you can't parry while guarding is accurate. But I never liked that about Demon Souls. I don't... I also don't like how he lost his health before the sword actually hit him. 
I, I didn't like that at all. Oh, he oh, hello. You're the person I'm supposed to be preparing. Let's uh, try that again. Is the window shorter? Or am I just... Well, I'm partial pairing those at least. Okay, like, I, I need to calm down and actually do this right. There we go. So, uh, another, th another thing, the second thing I learned, well, actually, this is actually the first thing I learned, is that uh, among, uh, for all of the, all of the PS4 games that are getting updated and going to work way better on this new, brand new, brand new console, the PS5, like, you know, it's got, it's got ray tracing capabilities and it's like, it can actually run Cyberpunk, maybe. I don't know if it can yet, because I don't think Cyberpunk's actually come out on the next-gen consoles yet. Also, um, I kind of lost interest in that, because just after I learned that none of your choices actually mattered, I was like, oh, that's not, that's not great. It's linear, but it's pretending to not be linear. Why would, why would you do that? Like, why, would you, why wouldn't you just pick one and stick with it? Don't you fucking dare, dude. BAM! That was very kind of you. That was very kind of you. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, Bloodborne did not get updated. Just, and, they, and, and apparently they have no plans to do it. Maybe if, if, if they were like, you know, touting a Bloodborne remake, that would that'd be something I'd be interested in. You know, that would make my purchase of this, you know, this giant white box that doesn't want to stand up. Literally the only way the only way I have to like, you know, put it in my um, admittedly not super impressive entertainment center. It's just it's just a little TV stand that's too small to actually hold my TV actually. I've, it's got a there's there, there's a bit of an uh, can I jump in this game? No, there's no jump. All right. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, I was like, oh, hey. This thing is giant, and like understandably giant, because most of that size is just a heatsink, which they showed, which was very nice of them to do so. But, uh, you just, you just can't even, like, there's, you know, asking for a 4K60 Bloodborne is one thing. I mean, you did it with, uh, you, you did it with God of War and Ghost of Tsushima. Bloodborne was game of the decade for on mo for most people, but you know, so I can you know just to do your third person like story driven action games with the walk and talks, just you know, just do that. I think this is the boss. Yeah, it's the boss. He looks. This game looks fucking beautiful. By the way, I'm very happy with the. Oh, yeah. how much does my magic do to him actually? That's looks really weird. Ow. Well, to be expected. Would have been nice to get that shit early, but whatever. Oh, now we're in the Nexus. But like, I don't know, maybe if there's a Bloodborne remake, I could I could withdraw this complaint. But uh, as it stands right now, you couldn't you couldn't even like fix the bane pricing issues. You couldn't just make it like run like a proper video game. Don't don't even couldn't you know just give it a little 60 FPS patch because I mean I mean someone did it on on, on the original release on PS4. Someone just did it. Someone someone just you know is, oh hey look fucking some rando in his in his basement. I don't know if he's actually in his basement. Fix Bloodborne and it works. Can't you could you couldn't do that yourself, Sony? Couldn't, like, you know, have Japan Studio do that? Oh, wait, you couldn't have them do it now because you shut them down. You shut them down because, I guess, in Jim Ryan's words, if you're not making a blockbuster, then why the fuck do we give a shit about you? Apparently, there's a state of play recently where they showed off a bunch of indie games. You know, which, you know, indie games are nice. But none of them are being paid for by them, I don't think. I'm pretty sure that all of them are, like... All of them are like, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Made by other people and are on other platforms. So, like, well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? 
Oh, hey, you're cool. You um, you know, the crestfallen dude. But, like, no, it's just... Just know, like, if, if you're not making A Last of Us, or a, uh, or a God of War, or Ghost of Sushi, or uh, Spider-Man, why the fuck do we give a shit about you? This is Jim Ryan's world now. Why do we care about uh, Japan at all? Apparently, you know, while th the PS5 is doing great in the West, Jap this, is, this is a terrible launch in Japan. Maybe these numbers have changed since I said this statement. In which case, you know, feel free to call me out on being a bullshit liar. But, uh, yeah. It could be better, it could be worse. But, why the fuck? Oh, is the backsmith? Okay. Cool. And you're a stockpile? I'm stockpile Thomas. I like your mustache. Also, your hairstyle. I didn't know what hit me. Hmm. My wife. I would be I would be happy to lighten you. Oh, I need to get the ring for him. And uh, storage, storage. Uh, noble, what the shit does this do? You're not gonna. Hold on. Best of luck to you. Counteracts poison. I'm not gonna be facing poison for a little bit. Equipped items cannot be stored. Fantastic. Unknown warrior, so I will hold on to that, and I don't think I have anything else of value to put away. Best assured. Best of luck to you. Both my rings are equipped. You only get two rings. They haven't updated that. Still not liking this clean UI. That's to the gate of bullet here. Anyways. They had... Oh, this was pre-PS5 launch, pre-PS5 announcement even, but... Apparently, since they moved to California, all sort of game meetings, or this, this is, you know, this is information that I heard a while ago that may have changed, or I may be remembering wrong, but, oh, you have to, um, do your, like, meetings with, on California time, doesn't matter if you're in Japan or not, and you have to do them in English. Bunch of smaller studios in Japan don't really have English speaking people on staff just to be able to speak English. So, you know, that's gonna, that's not gonna cause any problems or any, any sort of rifts between, you know, development studios or whatever. And then you got, and, uh, then you got, you know, the titty band that everyone's talking about, which, which, might I say that it's absolutely fucking hilarious that Nintendo is the place where you get your Japanese titty games now. And Sony's like no to that, but you know, they'll just have a, they'll have sex scenes in their uh, Western-made games. Talk, I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking at anything in particular, the second of anything in particular. But yeah, so that's that's an interesting thing. I don't particularly care one way or another. You're just saying that's a that's a market you're losing in in Japan even, which you know, like I said before, apparently the PS5 ain't doing as hot in Japan. As it want, as uh, previous iterations did, which you know, if if your argument is that um, you know their only real competition is Xbox, that's not big a deal because you know Microsoft Xbox is never going to sell in Japan. So, but Nintendo still does exist and they still do sell consoles. And if, if we're going to look further into how uh, how the Japanese market actually influences things, look no further than Monster Hunter. Uh, Monster Hunter World is Capcom's best-selling game of all time. Mo uh, except it didn't sell well in Japan from, well, from then from, you know, uh, just from that information alone, it might seem that, oh, the Japanese market doesn't actually matter that much, and I can't believe I died in the first fucking room of Bulletaria. I'm a goddamn disgrace. Holy shit, I should not have picked Royal. I am very out of practice. But, you know, looking at the Monster Hunter World numbers, it might, you might look at that and see, oh, hey, the Japanese market doesn't actually matter that much. But not let's let's ignore the part where Iceborne sold a quarter of the number that World did. Let's ignore the part that it's the only 
expansion to a Monster Hunter game that performed that much worse compared to its base level, and consider that it, unlike unlike every other Monster Hunter expansion, instead of being instead of being a standalone title that you buy, it was a uh, DLC package. Let's look at not Rise's numbers. In the first week, Rise sold five million compared to six million for World. Why? So World did better, unless you consider that World was multi-platform. Well, multi-platform. Rise is a single-platform game, and it was primarily boosted by the return of the Japanese market. So if you are looking at money, it's not the best idea to ignore an entire region, especially one as especially one like that as, as big as Japan when it comes to games. We'll see we'll see where, you know, Rise goes from here. But like, you know, I'm still I'm still fucking goddamn it. Let it be heal, please. That was a firebomb. Don't even. Hey, how much? You, okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little minute to, uh, just take a little minute to sit right there. And uh, I, I'm going to take some pot shots. Come on, bam! You take your shot, and then I'll take you out. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to, you just die when you go down there, obviously. But overall, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Thank you for the half moon grass. Wait, am I? Have I been eating the wrong? I've been eating the wrong grass. That is my bad. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any. I need to stop eating that. Ow! So, you know, ignoring a market, not a good long-term strategy, but once again, it's just, we've just sort of begun here. And I'm not going to blame Sony for, like, nobody being able to buy a PS5. There's there's a silicone shortage, and that's, that's just a supply issue. There's nothing they can do about that short of making their own silicone wafer factories, which is a bit unreasonable, even if I'm ranting about just nothing at this point. And, uh, so yeah, uh, as I was saying, you know, fuck Bloodborne and fuck the Japanese market. Just fuck Japanese de developers in general. We don't care, they don't care anymore. They're based in California. And I'm not gonna say this is a, I'm not gonna say this is, oh, my social justice warriors are ruining my titty games. I don't, that's not, that has nothing to do with it. Ultimately, Sony is a company and they're going to go with what they think is going to make them the most money. And, as it stands, they don't see the Japanese market as part of that plan. I don't agree, but I ain't the billion dollar company. I don't even know if they are a billion, probably are. I mean, they're big in insurance and hospital equipment, apparently. But, uh, yeah, okay, so that's, that, those, those are those meandering points that I just made right there. Next point. Uh, I don't, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I'm still in like any sort of chronological order here. This this is this this is definitely not. Uh, actually, no. I, I, I there is one thing that I can think of that happened earlier. Um, Jim Ryan's statements on backwards compatibility and old video games. Now this is this is the part. Actually, and this actually would kind of feed into the next point. But this is this is the part where it's just like, oh well, well. Actually, the controller was the realm of unacceptability for me. Because with with market stuff and the, oh, you don't think that there's that much money to be made here. And Bloodborne is more of a personal problem than anything. Um, their posi Jim Ryan's position, or Sony's position, on backwards compatibility and used games, or old games on older consoles, is frankly just baffling. Especially coming from the company... You know, that has the PS2 library. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front and say, oh, I I I've been a Sony boy the whole time. No, I'm I am objectively a Nintendo fanboy. That that's just the way I've been. That's just that's just how it was. My brother got this PlayStation. I got the Nintendo. Even now, the PS5 is the first Sony console that I've ever bought for myself. One through four, my brother bought, and I would just play games on his shit. And he would play the Nintendo games on my shit, and it was a good system. We had no desire to play anything on Xbox. And that was that. Was that. But, uh... But, like, the idea that nobody would ever want to play an old game because it's old and it looks bad. Now, I think I'm paraphrasing, but I might be. But like, just that, I I don't know how to approach this. I don't know how to approach this because it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Throw the rock, thank you. Oh, I went all the way down, but that's fine because I wanted to pick this shit up anyways. It's the bastard sword. I can't use that yet. What do I need? I like being able to sweep. I need 18 strength. But, you know, I can't level up anyway, so what does that matter? So, like, the PS2 library, I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend that it wasn't like the greatest thing in video games. That like the PS2 being the greatest fucking the greatest selling console of all time. <laughs> isn't wasn't like a landmark just like defining moment in video games it absolutely was and anyone who says otherwise is just a dumbass fanboy the ps2 was amazing and if game if, if we're ever going to like truly truly accept game that video games are a form of art then the preservation of that history should frankly be at at like the forefront of every decision that people make it's not going to be because games are expensive and you can make a lot of money reselling popular shit which honestly is a which you know video games being art is objective fact but you know it's kind of hard to defend that point when the people who make them don't treat it as such and that's and that's disappointing the, yeah that's what I thought you know I'm just oh I don't even have wow that was so that was so good of you so I, I totally forgot I had magic I don't I don't often use magic casters. And uh, break this so that I can get my ring of being able to play the game. Break that as well. Wait, is it on this side that you get the ring of play the game or is it on the other side? Either way. Um so yeah, like we're not we're not accepting games as art. Well, the people who make them aren't accepting them as art, so why should anyone else? And, and that's like, that's not like a position I particularly agree with, but it's, but it's the way things are. And uh, as a great man in a podcast once said, well, an objectively not great man, um, there's a whole, there's a certain nobility in just sitting in bed and thinking and uh, pretending things aren't the way they are. And, you know, with this whole like, oh, wait. Ah, this was the ring of play the game. Which ring should I get away? Uh, I'm not using that much magic. So I should probably get rid of uh, the fragrant ring? Yeah. There we go. Now I've got health. And I've got boots. And the hair ornament for Stockpile Thomas. Can I put this on and have some fucking defense? Can I? Okay, so I can just change slots. Ah. Some ro some ragged robes that increase my magic defense. That's not worth it. Nope. 
nothing, nothing here is worth it. That's great. Uh, no point in like leaving and coming back because I can't have no ability to uh, save these souls. But yeah, like people want to play old games. Emulation exists for a reason. I, I feel like I should just straight up make a tutorial on how to emulate the PS3, which leads me into my next fucking gripe. The PS3, 4, and 5 will reach a point where they can just no longer load physical games, even if everything in the console works. You might have heard this uh, issue come out recently as the CMOS battery problem. The reason that this feature exists is because uh, round about the PS in the PS3 days, Sony got real pissy about people cheating to get achievements or trophies. So what they so what they require you to do in order for your games to run, this is. Ow, that was my bad. I did the thing that the other guy did, but now you're getting zapped. Oh, you're not dead yet. So, the CMOS battery needs to run in order to connect to the server to make sure that the game is real. And then, this, and then the console will run the game. Now, where this becomes a problem, well, there's two problems here. The problem that everyone's been talking about is what happens when the battery dies. Well, um, unless you can replace it, uh, you, your, game, your console will not play either um, physical games or digital games. This applies to uh, the PS5 Digital Edition as well. You, you might, or the PS4 uh, Disc Edition as well. Stolen, but... Wow, you look fugly. Um, so, yeah. It's like, it doesn't actually even fuck, it doesn't even actually fucking even matter. If you bought the, phys if you bought the uh, Disc Edition, No requirements? What, is, what are the requirements on this bad, bad boy? I would really like to stop using a rapier. I can't afford it anyways, but... God. Why, why you look like that? Blah, blah, grapear... No, no. Whatever. So... So, like, the idea that you could buy a $600 machine, a four to $600 machine, and just have it not work, not because anything is internally wrong. And you might say, oh, if the battery, di if the battery dies, something is wrong. Well, it's not just the battery. It's not just the battery, that's the problem. Because if the servers for authentication ever go down you can't play your games anymore now I know what you're saying now I know what you're thinking when have game servers going down and when have servers going down ever what the fuck was that ever prevented people from playing the games that they bought well everyone knows that once you own a game that's it servers never met that's dumb DRM exists Always online games exist. When those game, when the servers for those games goes down, it doesn't matter how much money you spent on that shit. Especially if it has microtransactions, you can't play it anymore because we don't, you don't own games anymore. This whole anti-piracy bullshit. You don't own a single game you play. Um, it used to be if you owned a physical copy, you did. But even that. For at least for Sony, I'm not sure if there's a equivalent problem for Xbox. If there is, it hasn't come out yet, mostly because people are not undeservedly hate bonering Sony right now. But uh, it, it sure shit doesn't happen for Nintendo. As as much as as, mu as much as like the, they've been complete goddamn cunts about a bunch of shit. I don't know what I plan expected to happen there. Okay, let's just calm down and just calm down. There we go. I forgot. He's got stair advantage. I totally forgot that stair advantage was a thing. 
I need to get off the stairs so that I can actually fight him. That was a very slow strike, and I... Okay, okay, let's just, like... Let's just not, like, accept this right now. That's... I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so, like, as I was saying... You don't... Uh, Nintendo's been just, like, uh, the... F I don't even remember why they've been the worst. I just remember that they have. I just remember that... Uh, oh, well, uh, they did shut down that Melee tournament for using a, uh, a uh, mod that made the game playable. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, they have completely ignored the Joy-Con drift problem. You know, but this goes into my Sony rant as well. Your controller should fucking work for more than a couple days. Exagger hyperbole, obviously, but... You get the fucking point. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Um, just Pokemon just being, like, just not great because of deadlines and, and inflexibility. What can I do? What? There we go. Ow. That asshole hurt. Was that it? <laughs> but yeah. It's like, there's just a whole bunch of shit that Nintendo's done. And like, people are giving them, rightfully giving them shit about it. But, uh,. Yes, but like the idea that like there's just a point where we won't allow you to play your games anymore and not even due to an actual fucking failure in the hardware just like a timed death from manufacturer to now this is how long you can expect your purchase to mean anything I should be using this way more And let's be real, uh, my item discovery hasn't been super useful. But, but yeah, just like, oh, there's a timed death for your console, and it's three in a row, and we're literally only finding out about this now. That's, it's, the idea that people just accept that shit is... It's honestly not a surprise. And, like, I, I don't mean, like, the general population accepting that shit. I mean the fanboys, like, accepting that shit. Because cause overall, it's the fanboys that let this shit happen. Has the dragon showed up? I, th I thought I heard the dragon coming. Oh, there he is. Are you not gonna... Are you not gonna do the thing? It's like... You go, you go... Like, you go on... You go on Twitter, you go on Reddit, you go on whatever. And like, you see, you see oh, this is how Sony's being a cunt today. And without fail... You'll, you'll find people going like, well, you know, Sony's, Sony has the right to be a cunt because, I don't know, The Last of Us exists. Which, which by the way, this fucking reminds me of uh, something else. Why are they made remaking The Last of Us 1? The game came out on the PS3. You actually gonna blow your fucking fire now? Or are you just gonna keep, like, being a bitch about it? Okay, cool. Ow. This is your chance. Do it! Oh, god damn it. 
stupid dragon actually like plan oh he's not dead yet stupid dragon actually like planning his shit out you weirdly look like Raiden and I don't like that yeah you'll just find people like defending this shit well other well back to the last of us like why does the last of us really need a remake I mean, I guess you could make it look like The Last of Us Part 2, which, you know, which, how, despite how everyone complains about it, that game look, that game looks like a dream. It looks amazing. And it's just like, yeah, I know. That's, that's some fucking, that's some, the fucking work that Crunch gets you. I don't accept that it's worth it, though. But that's another, that's another argument entirely. Am I being uh, an absolute fucking coward right now? Absolutely. But I picked but I picked the weak class, I guess. Come on, actually blow your fucking fire, dude. Ow. Do it. Yo, you doing it? You doing it? You doing it? No. Fuck off. Whatever, I'll just run to the other side then. Die if I die. You're a failure, Dragon Boy. Why would I even go up there? Goddamn fucking failure ass piece of shit. I don't... Oh. Did you actually do something? I don't think you did. I didn't get any souls. Yeah, no, you're just fucking... I don't, I don't... Is that a bug? Is that a bug or a feature? By the way, I think I'm at the second staircase. Yeah, this is it. Unlocking the boss here. Yeah. So, like, the PS3 is gonna die. The PS4 is gonna die. The PS5 is gonna die. Even if... They're completely fine on the inside because, you know, batteries die. Copies of Pokemon Gold and Silver, their batteries died. And, like, you, those are fairly easy to replace. You can replace them with a, th well, you can replace them with a thumbtack and open flame and a piece of duct tape. Well, not, I wouldn't use duct tape. I'd probably at least use, like, packing tape or electrical tape. I mean, you're supposed to use a proper screwdriver and solder, but you can, you can fucking... I did it. I did it multiple times. You can fucking rig... You, you can fucking, like... Chip away at that with that stuff. Oh yeah, you also need a big crystal pen if you're gonna do it this way. I don't recommend doing it this way. But uh, yeah, no, batteries die. Game, you know, there's electronics die. I don't, I don't believe that like the N64, or the fucking original Xbox, are just never going to die. That's that'd be stupid. But like. Those aren't necessarily going to die in unfixable ways. I mean, like if it's a faulty capacitor, you can change that. If it's if it's if it's like some resistors or some other sh like component level shit, if it's so long as it's not proprietary or just not made anymore, you can fix that. But there's a problem with these Sony consoles where even if the console's in perfect working order, it just, it'll just say that, no, your game isn't real, you're not allowed to play it. Ah. Fucking partial parries. Ow. Man, you had your chance. I was wide-ass open. People defend it. People defend their consoles dying because, oh, these machines are so... It's like fucking Apple fanboys. Apple will tell you, no, nah, no, nah, these you, you can't replace the battery because you might explode. Bitch, people replace the brakes in their car. That's a thing that you can do. You can just straight up, you can take the wheels off your two-ton death machine that can go like a hundred miles an hour and replace the piece that's supposed to make it stop in a, in a way that won't kill you. 
And nobody questions that. Nobody questions, oh, it might be too hard to do that. And it's just like, if... Why, why do these people think that electronic shit is just so much more magical than you need like 80 years of school? Or like, whatever. To fucking, fucking like, do anything with that shit. Like, if you... Like, even like... Like, even, like, on the, like, the very, very, like, simple end of, like, you know, just building your own PC. You'll see people that are like, oh, man, I could never do that. It's it's so complicated. Oh, I'd probably, like, kill myself or something. I, I don't know if anyone's ever said that last part. But you do see people thinking that it's fucking impossible. But it's like, uh, hold on. I got plenty of firebombs. I could just go for it. I should probably just go for it. I'm gonna be using those half moon grasses. And I do have the fire resin. Yes. Let's get rid of you. Uh. I, hopefully I don't have to use the fire resin. It's uh. I'm just before I continue this, I'm gonna like deal with this. Deal with this noise right here. Ow. Let's uh Let's hide behind here. I need some grass. That's not what I wanted to do. But let's, you know, make the most of our mistakes. Mistakes into miracles and all that. Ow, ow. Let's uh, put away that mistake now. Or not, you know, they're right here. It's technically faster than using the fire bombs. Let's make it even faster with the dual wheel. Or the two hand. It's the opposite of what that meant. You know, let's, let's clean up this mess a little bit. I don't know why people say you can't just bum rush these Soulsborne games. You can totally bum rush them. Look at this. Is this not the sound of a bum rush? Oh, that's the end of that. That was actually way better than I thought it was. That went way better than I thought it would. So let's just just keep. Let's just keep doing that. Ow! Just eat some grass. Don't want to. Don't want to be too cocky with my bum rush. Ow! That was not fun. I like how the fire seems to make the weapon have piercing as well. Like, not bouncy shit. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but like, it certainly doesn't help these guys. Pick up some stuff. Sharp stone shard. Hard stone shard. Is this for, like, upgrading shit? Like, because I'm not going to be using this rapier forever. Because I don't like it. I, well, I like it right now. It's, 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 uh... It's fast attacks are very helpful. Oh, I, I guess it just doesn't bounce anyways. And they're all dead. I got a trophy. Wow, I got a trophy. I Oh man, it must be super worth it. Like whatever, like built-in system they have to make sure that those are real. That's, that's totally not going to bite anyone the ass. But yeah, back to bullshit people, like, defending bullshit things that hurt them as consumers. Uh, get back to the Nexus. Why the fuck would you defend it? Why would you do that? They're not your friend. They're a goddamn billion dollar corporation that wants to drain you of as much money as possible, which means the last point of this, of this rant, of this god, of this pointless goddamn rant that's gone on for, like, hours and hours of waffling bullshit, they have the audacity 
they have the audacity to charge you ten dollars more from 60 to 70 in the u.s we were paying 80 in canada they're 90 dollars now here after tax we're paying a hundred dollars per game if it's on this new shit it's like oh hey these games are much bigger and much harder to make well first of all demon souls is a fucking remake so a lot of that time a lot of that work is just you know already done number two at what point were these consoles like bigger and like more extravagant than goddamn pc games like in terms of like what they can do and as like, i suppose that speaks to the pc always just being an afterthought in terms of ports which is the only reason why console power arguments even need to exist at all but it's like the fu the fucking audacity to have a five to have a five month controller lifespan to like tie your your console reading your physical games that you're supposed to own to some to some fucking bullshit battery to make sure that people aren't cheating at their goddamn like brownie points that oh look at how much of a pro fucking gamer I am and just like to say that no you don't want to play these old games that like defined your childhood and formative years you don't know those games are terrible they look they don't look they don't have the ray tracing did they don't have the particles and did I go the wrong way did I miss something I'm supposed to be talking to the monumental up here aren't I What the fuck? Did I go too far? I might have gone too far. Yeah, here they are. We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. Hi, Ang. I am one of the monumental. But like, yeah, like and uh, the fucking. Of reality. Oh God, I lost my train of thought. To charge you more. To charge you more. To like make the controllers die. To say that you don't own your games. Even if you have a physical box and a disc that plays them. You can't just fucking build in that authentication for trophies in the actual game. No, you have to build, you have to make that an online DRM based bullshit thing. As if, you know, EA and SimCity wasn't a goddamn like warning sign of how people like that shit. But you know, you, the people are going to defend it. I bought a PS5 and I'm the one bitching about it. I very much I very much every single week I just regret this purchase more and more and more. And like there's a question of well why didn't you return it? I didn't pick it up until a, a day after I bought it because a friend picked it up for me and I just transferred him the money. And uh he didn't want to look at it because it made him want to open the box and all that shit and it's like oh he's very impatient so if, so long as he can forget it exists then he doesn't do anything with it and like and I'm gonna be honest I didn't think about that until until I heard about this CMOS thing because I could I always figured well I'll just I, I bought the thing I'll always just buy I can just always buy used games and then you know I can at least not support this shit because you know these people sell consoles at a loss anyways generally generally consoles are sold at a loss I don't think Microsoft's made a single dime on the Xbox as a brand but they have infinite money to just throw into that shit and uh no, I don't fucking give a shit about any of this. I beat this game like this multiple times. The but, were placed in the fringe but like, the audacity, the, we the, the fucking here, disrespect, and the dis this disrespect from a gaming brand, the Sony PlayStation, which only exists because they were disrespected by Nintendo with the uh, SNES disc drive. And how Nintendo went behind their back to make the Philips CDI. Yeah, that's why this, that's why PlayStation exists. Is because Nintendo showed them a bunch of fucking disrespect. But it's like, oh, I, okay, I guess disrespect doesn't actually matter. Because, you know, we're just fucking plebeian consumers that just buy shit. 
And it's like, Ugh. it's like, well, first of all, my plan for like multi plats hasn't changed. I was always just gonna ever always just buy those on the PC because I've got a 3080. Why why wouldn't I? Nothing on the PS5 is going to be too big for that. And as for console exclusions, just I'm I'm thinking of just like buying an XX out of spite now. It's just like when it, when I get a chance, boom. And the PS5 is just gonna be sitting there. It's got Demon Souls. It'll be a Bloodborne machine, and I'll play my PS4 games on it because fuck you, Jim Ryan. I want to play old games. But that's it. Braves. Everything I can get on something else, I'll get on something else. Now let me level up, please. Would seek us out? Yes. Of course. Uh, I don't want that. I want you. I want some of you. Oh, that's how many souls I had left. Uh, intelligence gives me more MP. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna like not gonna be using that much magic. I know. I I know. I totally just went in on that on the magic guy, but like that was more. Uh, that that was more because I wanted to be. I wanted to like not just autopilot this shit, which it. Which I didn't, which I'm happy about. Artha, may thy strength... How much... How much shit do these soul things give me? I'm not gonna... Don't consume that. Let's see how many does that use. Give me 200. Uh, okay, that'll give me one level. Actually, if I consume all of these... I'll probably get two levels out of this. A little, yeah, that's. Yeah, yep. Uh, let's, let's get more of you. I'm I'm going to be trying to getting the enchanted falchion next once that becomes a thing. Uh, vitality gives me item burden, so like I would want that even if I didn't want the HP. And uh. How do I build up plague resistance? With luck. That's that's a thing. That's a thing that just happened. Uh yeah, I think it's I think I'd be better off getting the endurance. I do like how uh they uh, made this better, because I'm pretty sure before you had to like level up one thing at a time. But like Blue Point's doing good work. I'm not gonna shit on Blue Point at all. Sony's the assholes. Blue Point did a f one fucking beautiful job with this, even if they, you know, decided that ugly things should look repulsive instead of like restrained. And um, don't worry about this. Don't worry about what's going on right now. Just uh. It's just, it's, just, it's just a little trick, a little trick that we can pick up for next time. Um, by the way, which I'll see you next time.